Now this is really neat, the uh, guide maps to the Magic Kingdom, they do come in different languages. We have Francois, um, Germany, Portuguese, Spanish, looks like Chinese, guests with disability, English, lots of English, but uh, that's really cool. I did not know that. So. If you have any relatives that speak a different language, then great. They can read the maps. And this is one of the very first classic rides out here, the Jungle Cruise. They do offer this in Disneyland over in California as well. Um, very fun ride. Lots of uh, dry humor jokes from the ship captains and uh, some of the very first animatronics that were ever out here at Disney World out in the Magic Kingdom and you can find the Jungle Cruise inside of Adventureland. It says it's a 50 minute wait. I don't think I'll get on but uh, you know if you happen to be here on vacation this is a great ride to get on. Don't you miss it and they actually do during the holidays do overlays as far as like during Christmas. Not too sure about Halloween. But uh, this upcoming year, I will find out, though. On to the next attraction. And we also have an Adventureland Pirates of the Caribbean. This is also another classic. This is not to be missed. This is one of what my favorite rides. I've always been on this ever since I've been going since, uh, shoot, back in the 80s, early 80s. Um, this ride here, it is a what they consider a dark ride. You will be on a boat with multiple people. It moves pretty fast, the line, and uh, it's not to be missed, not to be missed. And directly across from the exit of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, there's a gift shop. Well, that's going to be, the gift shop is actually there whenever you uh, exit the attraction. Directly across from it is Tortuga Tavern. In here, it is a quick serve restaurant. So if you're hungry, come on inside and get something to eat. And there is Pirates of the Caribbean again, directly across from it. Jack Sparrow will come out here for meet and greets uh, during the day. I've never seen him at night, so that's something. And it's directly across from Pirates of the Caribbean. And the Enchanted Tiki Room is also in Adventureland, directly across from the Jungle Cruise. This is another classic attraction. This is a show. You will actually be sitting down for approximately 15, 20 minutes, I believe, here. And this attraction actually originated out in Disneyland. So it was brought over here and it is a great attraction, some place to get out of the heat when it's really hot during the summer. You can cool down the nice AC. The attraction out in Disneyland is also pretty cool in that the exit of the show, they actually have Dole Whip that you can purchase. But out here in Disney World, just to the left of the entrance is Aloha Isle in which you can purchase all the Dole Whip you ever want to get right over there. Let's go take a closer look. There it is, Aloha Isle Refreshments. They do have a mobile order in which you can place it on your phone and then a mobile order pickup area just to the left. If you are not gonna do mobile order, then you will need to get in line to get your refreshments, desserts, and treats. It's good stuff, it doesn't matter. I I'd wait in line. And Directly across from Aloha Refreshments is a meet and greet area here where Princess Jasmine and Aladdin will be. I've heard that Jafar shows up during like Halloween, so neat place to come. Obviously during the day they'll be there, not at night. And this is the Magic Carpets of Aladdin, another great attraction for the little ones or if you're just looking for a little fun yourself. 
It is just kind of like a normal standard carnival ride, but well themed and I just got splashed with some water standing here, which is awesome. So, um, excellent. I'm standing in the wrong spot. It'll probably start uh, splashing me again. And out here, Magic Carpet, the Carpets of Aladdin. Out over here on this side, we do have the Island Supply Sunglass Hut. So this is like a sunglass hut that you would find in any normal mall in America. Lots of sunglasses. They do have some of the Ray-Bans that are themed to Mickey and Minnie. So that's pretty cool. A lot of money, but pretty cool. All right. I know it's a little dark, but they also do have Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Uh, this is a walkthrough attraction. If you're not wanting to waste your steps, do not get on this attraction. But if you're looking for some neat, cool, nostalgia stuff to look at, just take a walk. It's not very long, maybe five minutes, five, ten minutes. So, pretty neat. And we also do have the Skipper Canteen Restaurant. I have not had the opportunity to eat there, but I will one day. Right next to it, we do have the Sunshine Tree Terrace. That's another place to get some Dole Whips and ice cream and drinks. Plenty of places to eat food and get beverages. And as we're heading out towards the hub, you do have a couple of uh, pop-up areas where they do sell merchandise. For all your Disney needs and this is the other entrance the entrance I came in on the other side was actually from uh, out where Splash Mountain is at so and there you have it this is where you would normally enter if you are coming from the hub that so that's going to do it for me tonight, friends. Um, yeah, just a real quick trip around Adventureland. I'm going to do uh, each one of the lands a, a, a different day. Just kind of want to tell you what they have to offer as far as places to eat, things to attractions, rides, just anything. Um, I prefer doing these type of videos instead of a standard vlog video because I really don't have an audience right now to watch me so I'd rather do something that's more informational to people and I enjoy it it's fun lots of fun but anyways uh, tomorrow I think I'm gonna head out to Hollywood Studios or possibly even Universal I don't know yet but stay tuned uh, Universal just updated their mask policy if you are vaccinated you are no longer required to wear a mask even indoors anymore so interesting we'll see how long that lasts but anyways you all have a good night i really enjoyed making this video if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe i want to put out more information for you all out there um you know definitely if you like the video please subscribe and uh stay tuned for more have a great night and peace